We'll now start to reassemble the anti-tangle screw head. The brush bar engages on the drive dog with a firm push. Once on, the outside housing connects to the main head. There are some small ribs to line up and this can be tricky on the first go. Once you've got it together, engage the catch which locks the mechanism in place. One of the interesting things about this housing is the airway. You may notice that on the side here, there is a small bulge. This is what's called an offset airway. The air that has been sucked up from the floor goes along the brush bar and it's only at the side where the air is taken off and out to the rest of the machine. This is important because it encourages any hair, dust and debris which might be wrapped around the brush bar to migrate from the large end to the small end. This means that the hair is pulled off and removed by the offset airway. The bristles on this brush bar are special. They're angled at 45 degrees and also cut at another angle to ensure they're flat to the surface. The sole plate of this machine also is new. You'll notice that this part can twist. When using the product, it will always stay flat to the floor and will have a good seal. As you'll know from taking apart the Tangle Free Turbine tool, it has a large amount of components and is quite complex. This makes it more expensive to produce and harder to assemble. On the new design, it's more simplified, uses less components and materials, and this is also better for the environment. And that's pretty much it for the anti-tangle screw head. This is a fantastic example of iterative design.